Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Angel Goat. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 233 pounds. Status, hero, and Legion of Goats member. Base, well, intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and caring. He will do anything to please goddess. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, thoughts of failure. Powers, he possesses all the powers of a goat and an angel, including immortality, wings for flight, and other powers. He can also speak English. Eyes like green, hair bright white and stubby. Origin. During medieval times, a male white goat had found that his villager masters were being attacked by uncaring knights. In an act of courage, he saved the family, but with the cost of his life. After traveling to Cloud Nine, Goddess summoned him and said that he did a good deed for his masters, and she rewarded him with the powers of an angel. Now given the name Angel Goat, he and his legion of goats and allies will always protect and avenge the innocents. Costume. It's basically covered in bright white fur. Team Solitary with the legion of goats and other heroes or inspiration. Goat Simulator. Second character, just so you know. Angela. Real name, Angela Dara. Height 6 feet, weight 196 pounds. Status, hero and expert supermodel. Base, default, earth mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, intellectual, loving, and flirtatious. She enjoys her destined spouse. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, misogyny, she has no healing factor. Powers, she has hands for feet, a long monkey tail, High agility, martial arts, and is an uncanny supermodel. She also wields a series of simian weapons. Eyes bright blue, hair deep blonde, and flowing. Origin Angela Darrow was an average supermodel who was obsessed with primates. One day, she met and fell in love with a male simian warrior named Simon, 
and after they defeated Lady Stinger, Angela proved her love for him. After a month of dating, Angela and Simon got married, and later Angela asked the Master to give her primate features in her DNA, which gave her hands for feet, a long monkey tail, and high agility alongside combat training from Simon. Costume. She wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary with Simon and other heroes will embrace him. Supermodels and primates. Just, you know how it is. Here's the last character, just so you know. Tremenda. Real name, Trishy Towers. Height 6 feet 11 inches, the vast. Weight 217 pounds, the vast. Status hero and descendant of Tower Girl. Base, futuristic dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Witty, lovely, and somewhat destructive. She'll do anything to be respected by others. Lethality. Highly lethal to most opponents. Weaknesses. She has an intolerance for the military. Powers. She can expand big enough to rest on the planet, along with nuclear immunity. She also possesses uncanny reasoning skills and can instantly travel across time and space. Eyes light green, hair orange is brown, and wavy. Origin. In the futuristic dimension, Trishy Towers was an average teen who learned that she's the descendant of Tower Girl, and by the next morning her powers became forever ignited. Renaming herself Tremenda, Trishy soon became fast friends with Captain Space. Eventually, Ruby was transported by Cosmic to destroy the two Earths, and with their combined efforts they successfully saved the two worlds from global destruction. Since then, Tremenda was marked as one to trust and was later granted by Sideblade with the power to travel across time and space. Costume. She wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary, or with other heroes of inspiration, Power Girl. I'll make sure to explain some of the characters through uh, editing when the time is nigh, especially like the ones you see as we speak and so forth, you know. And I have some great news. Last I checked, I have 101 subscribers. I finally made my uh, milestone for subscribers to date. And I really hope that at least around the end of the month of July, I could finally get to 10,000 views because last I checked for that, it's like 9.4K views. So I really thank. I really am grateful that you guys are able to help me out, especially those who are now turns out to be in Canada, in Australia, in the Philippines, especially since I have like 52 views from the United Kingdom. So yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone across the world. Yeah, I uh, really hope that my next uh, birthday would be of some use for you guys. I'm trying as much as I can to make everything worth it. You know how it is? Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month of July and such, and until next time, in transmission.